Here's HealthWise with Karen McKay. Nearly 21 million Americans admit to at least one addiction, according to a 2019 national survey on drug use and health. And for more than 14 million of those as young as 12 years old, the problem is alcohol. Imagine how difficult the holidays can be when any day of the week you could be faced with a gathering that involves festive food and alcohol. Dr. Susan Bergeson is a professor at the Texas Tech Health Sciences Center who specializes in the study of addiction. She says it's not fair when people think you can just choose to drink alcohol or not because alcohol use disorder is an addiction that is 50% genetic. It's like a deck of cards. If you have 52 cards and you've got 30 stacked against you, it's really difficult. Dr. Susan Bergeson says just as men and women are different, so is the way alcohol reacts in the body. And in this case, the cards are already stacked against women. It's well known that men are, uh, have a higher probability of having alcohol use disorder, but women actually have more tissue damage and for those who suffer from alcohol use disorder, it generally takes a shorter amount of time and less alcohol consumption to get to their end stage. She says since most people don't have a problem with alcohol, it's hard for them to empathize with those who do in the way you would feel compassion for a cancer patient. But alcoholism is still a disease. And she says getting help from a physician is the key, not quitting cold turkey. And here's why. I want to make sure that people understand that just quitting on your own can be a medical emergency. If you're physically dependent on alcohol, um, you can go through very severe withdrawal symptoms, including seizures, um, which can kill you. We've all heard people refer to themselves as an alcoholic. Dr. Bergerson said that's okay for them to say it, but the preferred term today for everybody else is alcohol use disorder, or AUD. And she says, Abner, that better describes um, <clears throat> this as a lifelong brain disorder and, and the lifelong process it takes to manage it.